In recent builds of 3D Code 4.9, there has been a restructuring or relayout of the preferences panel, and there are some important options to consider. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that here in this video by going to the Edit menu, clicking on Preferences, and in the General tab, you'll see some familiar options. But the one I really want to bring to your attention is the Zipped Save Scenes Automatically on the Fly some time ago, Andrew enabled saved files to be zipped in order to save hard drive space. If you want 3D Coat to do that, then you want to check that here. If you do not, leave it unchecked, which should be the default option. As you can see, the layout is quite different than what you may be used to previously. But let's go to the beta section. At this stage of 3D Coat 4.9, a lot of these tools are being prepared for the 3D Coat 2021 release. If you do not want certain beta tools to be enabled, you can uncheck them here. For example, you could uncheck the activity bar so it's not visible, yet enable all the other beta tools. Vertex Textures is another beta tool that has its own workspace. You can enable that here. Show beta tools. There are a number of beta tools that may not be visible if you don't have this checked. One of those is here in the Sculpt Workspace. When you are in Surface Mode, you'll have a section right beneath Surface Tools called Custom. You won't see those if you don't have Show Beta Tools checked, at least not in 4.9. In the new version, you won't have to necessarily check or uncheck that. So these are really aimed at 4.9 beta tools. Then in the Tools section, I need to bring to your attention a few different options that were added recently. When you are in the Retopo workspace, if you delete a face, it auto-selects the edges. Sometimes that may be a hindrance to you and you would want to uncheck that. The next option relates to caching and uncaching sculpture layers. Some users have requested a prompt because they accidentally click on that icon from time to time so you have the option to disable it if you prefer. The next option involves the usage of the Transform Gizmo. In the Tool Options panel, you can change the Transform Gizmo to display only certain types of transforms, much like you would see in a typical 3D application which uses the QWERTY standard. So for example, if you wanted to move, you could use the W key or you could just click right here in order to only expose the Move Transform Mode portions of the gizmo. You can grab the stem to drag along an axis. I can go here and change that to Rotation only or Scale only. And with Scale you have a 2D plane so you can scale along two different axes. Okay. If you were to choose all controls, it's going to be like the gizmo has always been. In that sense, it's like disabling the option here in the preferences panel. So you can choose one way or the other, whichever suits your preference. Most of these are relatively about the same options that they've had in the past. Um, yeah, so let's go to in and out you can point to a Quixel scan folder. Also, FBX export units, you can designate that here. I would recommend for Blender users that meters be left as your default because what you see as a scale in the viewport in 3D Coat will more closely match what it looks like in Blender. If you choose millimeters, it will typically come in very small in Blender. Yeah, and so that's going to conclude this look at the updated preferences panel in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.